The next step consists of creating a plot adjoining this one here. First of all, we are going to draw some boundaries as an extension of the existing plot, or in other words, this owner's new plot adjoins this part. Hence, we will once again create a new plot using MDT plots defined by interior point in order to make an estimate. Why? Because this plot now measures 41,000 square meters and it would be too big. So we're going to create a division with the occupation surface. We go to MDT plots divide and in this case, we are going to use divide by parallel. We select our plot and are then asked to specify the side on which we are going to create a parallel to divide the plots. We could use this boundary or the other one. Let's do it with this one. We select it, and MDT will ask if we wish to divide in accordance with a number of plots, in accordance with the area, or in accordance with a distance. We select by area and specify that we would like a plot of 18,038.25 square meters. We accept, and the calculation is completed. The result will consist of three plots, two with a designated surface and one other. We could use any of the two or even create another partition in relation to another boundary. We are going to split it and use this plot and delete the rest using MDT plots delete. The next step is to merge these two plots and MDT features this tool under MDT plots Merge. However, the problem we have is that we need to divide this other plot beforehand, which we can do using MDT plots divide, divide by polyline. We select the plot to be divided, right click, and then select the cut polyline. However, this causes an error due to the fact closed cut entities are not admitted. Never mind. We draw a new polyline that crosses the boundary to be divided and repeat the process. We execute MDT plots divide divide by polylines. Conduct the process of designating the plot to be divided and the cut polyline and here we have the new plots created.